For years, it has served as a spot where dogs could learn to love again, but a weekend fire took out a big part of a Union County nonprofit that's helped so many animals. The fire tore through a barn in Waxhaw belonging to Rover's Rescue and Retreat. The blaze happened early yesterday morning, and a number of the rescues the nonprofit took in were not able to make it out. As Queen City News anchor Derek Dellinger found out, the Waxhaw family in the middle of that rescue is still in shock over what happened. You want to go out? Okay, let's go out. They say man's best friend can help during rough times. And with so many friends like these, it's tough not to smile. Rover's Rescue and Retreat in Waxhaw has taken in dogs over the years, fostering them, getting them ready for adoption. But there are some that they just couldn't help but take in and make family. We get them healthy. Um, we get rid of the fleas and the ticks. In some cases, we've gone through heartworms. The rescue knows they cannot do it alone. And it takes a village. I mean, you, you need people who are willing to volunteer and foster. But that family is hurting in many ways. Right outside Holly and Stephen Rogers' back door is what's left of the barn that they had for their pet rescue operation. Sunday morning, it caught fire, and while the cause is still being determined, firefighters told them that there are indications that a heat lamp in the barn had busted. Firefighters rushed to the scene just right up the road from me. The Rogers say it took anywhere between five and 10 minutes for firefighters to arrive. But by then, fire was too far gone. Everyone is in shock. It's just too hot. Yeah, and just yeah. engulfed yeah. It's Nothing just, it was, yeah, they just, it's just hard. It's just, and you look at what's left and you're just like, it's gone. The rescue shared these videos and pictures with us. The dogs they lost, the goat named Chuck Norris, who thought he was part of the pack. They're just a few of the so many animals they've reached and fostered out over the years. Rover's Rescue and Retreat is a nonprofit and has helped hundreds of animals. We can't help it. We, we both cry sometimes because we're happy for them. Right now, things are still so new, but there's a sense even now that the rescue's mission is not done just yet. They still have the dogs that weren't in the barn at the time, but inside the Rogers' home. While they work to figure out what's next, they are remembering the ones they lost, members of a family that loved unconditionally and that were loved so well right back. In Waxhaw, Derek Dellinger, Queen City News. And for more on the organization's recovery efforts, head to this story on our website, qcnews.com, and you can download the QC News app to read all our stories on the go.